Okay, you guys, so here is the 75 gallon. I got some more plants in there. I got some uh, Jabba fern in there, some corkscrew plants. I'm not quite sure the real name. I have to go look at it, but um, she's starting to come. I think I'm thinking really hard about taking out the log and um, going with maybe, or leaving it in there and lay it down with all the branches so they're all down and then plant all one around it and i think about doing some changes to this tank eventually once all the plants start taking off um i got some root tabs in there going co2 is going good it's a little cloudy because i planted the two jabba ferns in the back but the plants are starting to come along really nice, and it's taking a little longer than I thought. But this tank is going to take the longest. It's going to be, um, i got to get some color in here. I, I like to get some Klebamba plants, get some purple ones. I'm trying to get everything nicely done. So just wanted to show you guys a quick video of the plants, how they're coming. Um, the 30 gallon is not on yet, so I can't show you that one. Uh, I got some new Cardinal te Tetras in there. And uh, I think I bought nine more yesterday. I got some shrimp in there. But it's coming along, it's coming along really good. Uh, I'm going to start grouping some plants and uh, start uh, getting this tank to fill out. Make some space and do something with that log. Um... It's going to take me a good probably year now from here on out to get this tank filled with plants. And the light on top is doing an exceptionally well job at doing so, at growing the plants. Um, I was going to go with the Fluval, but uh, for the price for this lay up here, it was a hundred and something dollars cheaper. And it's doing a really good job. And this is the, if you haven't been following along, this is the Micmo, uh 48 inch bar and it's uh 24 hour cycle light it's got the thunderstorm feature it comes on every once in a while these guys think i'm going to feed them but i'm going to start doing some breeding i got i think i'm going to breed this uh bozmani it's being hit this one right here this bozmani with one of the females I got the tank set up now for, I got a mop in there. Uh, I'm just waiting. I think I'm going to start after Christmas. And I'm going to do some breeding of those guys. Here is the 60 gallon. It's coming along pretty good. I got the other piece of the castle. I got some plants all planted in between here. They're growing good. Um, I got some new Jabba fern in there. Different types of Java fern. Um, Got to get some uh, more plants for this tank. I think I'm going to do away with these or just trim them down. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with them. I think they call them hogwort or something like that. But uh, they can outgrow your tank pretty fast. And I would rather have some, uh, you know... Amazon stores in the back and different variety of Amazon stores in the back and some uh, other nice colorful plants in here but it's doing good it's coming along uh, and there's no CO2 in this tank yet um, I gotta still put more uh, root tabs in here um, I think I put uh, 30 in here so far underneath all the plants I think the only ones that don't have root tabs right now is the Jabba Fern. I gotta put some root tabs under them, probably three under each one of them. I also, got another tank yesterday, um, this is the 36 inch bow front. And it's gonna take me a while to do this tank. Um, I was going to go with the Fluval Flex and I decided not to because of the sale or the deal I got on this. Um, this aquarium cost me $196 with taxes. 
and the fluval was going to be around 250 bucks uh, for 15 gallon and that wasn't including the stand so I got this for 196 bucks and I was like wow I, I can't pass that up so I'm buying it and I'm going to set this up with a canister I'm gonna buy another canister so you guys subscribe because there's lots more videos coming um, like I said, I'm doing these videos just to have you to follow along with me just so I can, like I'm new at this hobby. Uh, I know how to keep fish. I know how to cycle tanks and stuff like that. I've done it before, but the shrimp and plants is all new to me. CO2 is all new to me. And, uh, <laughs> I've never had canisters and today or after having two canisters in the 75 and the 60 gallon, I'll never go back to a hang on back. I probably will use a hang on back on this until I have a canister. But uh, it'll probably be the AquaClear 50. Uh, that'll be going on here temporarily. I'm not sure. I don't know. It all depends on when I get the canister and stuff. But I'm going to go with a different substrate in this tank. It's not going to be gravel. It's going to be dirt. Um... I'm not quite sure what to go on that. So if you guys have any suggestions, just leave a comment down below. Um, this is going to be a shrimp tank as well. It's going to be a variety of things. I'll be taking shrimp out of the 30 and putting it in here. This is definitely going to be full of plants. Uh, light is my next thing I got to worry about. So the two things I need to worry about is a light and a canister. <coughs> I don't want to get rid of the hood. I want the tank covered. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. I know the light that's in here now. That will not grow any plants. But I want to keep the, the hood. Like, the hood is nice. and uh, If I can't keep the hood, then it's going to be gloss. I'll have to go out and uh, get a piece of glass cut. The same as this hood. <sighs> I looked for the glass tops with the hinges on them. They want a hundred and something dollars for them. And it's just, that ain't going to happen. So I'll probably go out and get a piece of glass cut for it. And uh, I don't know. But it's going to have to have a different light. Now, I don't know what to do with the light. It's a toss-up between Mikmol, Fluval, and there's another brand. Uh, I can't remember it right now. Uh, it's going to go on this tank. I would love to get my hands on a Fluval. Uh, they say they're a good light, but uh, they're costly. They're very expensive. But whatever I receive, I will be doing an unboxing and uh, set up and a run through of the light and you guys can see how well the light grows the plants but this one here is going to be right full of plants it's going to be nothing but plants and i'm going to have a <coughs> i want to aquascape this to have <coughs> wood i don't know it's going to be full of wood and plants that's all i know i'm also going to pick up some uh, dragonstone Oh, probably will dress up the corners of Dragonstone, the sides, you know, whatever. I'm going to think of something. I'm not a very good aquascaper. I'm new at this. And right now I have to start out uh, growing my plants and splitting my plants and putting them here and there. But I, right now in the hobby, I probably, the most money I've got into the hobby is this aquarium right here. Um, this has a very nice cabinet. I can't see very much, of course, but, uh, that cabinet that came with that is a very good cabinet. It's, it's pretty rugged. The glass on this aquarium, I couldn't get over how thick it is, but I think it has to be that way for bow fronts to withstand the pressure. So <laughs> anyway that's that so my 
Two big things I got to do right now is get everything for this, but the canister and the light is my two going to be my two major cost. And I probably will be going with it's the toss up between Fluval and Sun Sun. Um, uh, 302 or 303B would probably be submission it for this aquarium. Uh, I don't know what to go with yet, you guys. I want to go with something that's not so expensive, but will do the job. And hang on backs, it does that, but I don't really want to go with hang on back. But I don't know. We'll see. I know a canister has to go in it. So that's the new aquarium. Um, so if you want to follow along on what I do with this aquarium, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like I said, I got that for 196 bucks with taxes. Uh, it was 170 bucks. So that's in the bedroom. <laughs> So I've been in this hobby. I started doing this probably now a year. This was the first tank. And I knew it was going to take me a long time just to get the plants and get things going and get things the way I want it, you know, and get the CO2. And I'm not the type of person that likes to spend money constantly. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of tanks. But this tank here, long story short... I pretty much got all my money back out of that tank. I had an issue with uh, uh, the seal on this tank. It didn't leak, but I didn't like how it was sealed. And as you can see, here's a piece taken out right here. Um, on the side here of the tank, I fixed it. But on the side of the tank, there was hardly any seal from here up. And I was really worried about that. So I just went and bought some seal and I filled it in. But uh, I never noticed that when I was buying the tank. And plus it was in a box and stuff and you never got a chance to see all that. But <coughs> yeah, I got my money back out of most of this anyway. Uh, the only thing I got in this tank for money is the two pieces in the center. Uh, one was 70 bucks, one was 50, 40 bucks. And the plants, uh, I really don't have a lot of, I have the Java Fern, I have money in that. Um, the canister, substrate, wave maker, and the light came for, I got that for free too as well. So that's pretty much, you know, I don't have anything in that tank, so big savings there. Same thing goes with the 75 gallon. Uh, they gave me the money uh, to buy this tank. Uh, this tank here was Four hundred and ninety nine or five hundred and ninety nine ninety nine and there was a few issues with this one. I don't know if you can see it, but the wood has the split in it right here where they drove a nail in it and come out through the side. Uh, they gave me the money back on that stand. It was two hundred and something dollars. I only paid fifteen dollars for the whole thing. So I got well my money back. So the money I got back out of this one, because I only paid $15 for the tank, I got my money back for the canisters, so. And that light on top, too, was free. Uh, also, the light on top of this one was free. The Wills Aquarium Light. This is the Wills 21-inch, 163 watts. And it seems to be doing a really good job at growing plants. This tank here, I've got about 200 bucks into it, the stand in the tank. Um, it's got two hang-on backs on the back, which I'm going to change those out. Uh, I'm not sure what route I'm going to do with that. She wants to put a canister in it. That would be a small canister. I'm telling you guys, canister is the way to go. It's, it's the way to go. A sub pump or, you know, in the bottom of it or a canister is the way to go. These hang on backs are just, they're either costly or you got to clean them all the time. Canister, you can get at least, I don't know, uh, with my aquariums. And I consider heavily stocked. Um, like the 75, it's heavily stocked. I've only cleaned that canister uh, two times since I've had it. Uh, so you should be able to get at least six months, five months out of the canister without cleaning it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So anyways, you guys, uh, water changes and stuff I've been doing once a week. And I used to do 40, 40 to 50% water changes in the heavily stocked tanks. And I cut back to 20% in both 75 and 60 gallon. Um, as you all know, I've been having issues with this tank. I had bought some fish from a store in Grand or Emmiston. And I had some kind of disease getting in here, an illness, and it wiped out probably about 20 of my guppies. And I, I got it under control. I did a big water change up to 70%, cleaned the canister, and I uh, filled it all back up, treated with uh, stability and some medicine. And the medicine, I don't like giving it too much, uh, but I do light doses. So uh, after that was done, I basically, it, it all balanced out for me. So it all worked out fine. So there are no more fish dying in here. They're starting to look good. Their fins are all looking good. Tails. Um, there's... I've had some baby rainbows. I think there were the Kamakos. They're now in here. There goes the guy right there. They love it in here. I think I have nine, eight or nine of the... Nine. I think I have nine of those. And they're in with the guppies. So they're going to grow up with the guppies and stay in here. I do have some people that's uh, interested in buying them. Uh, told them they're going to have to wait. If they want them now, they can, but I'm not going to uh, be responsible for the loss of deaths or anything they have or whatever. But I told them I'd sell them to them if they want them now, but I'd prefer to keep them as long as possible. And until they get a little bigger, at least it's a little the size of the guppies anyway. But, um, yeah. And here is the dark. So there's also three rainbows in here, baby rainbows. Yeah, you can see them swimming around in there. There's only three left. Here is the tanks for all the babies. I'm going to start breeding the Bozmanis in here. I got the uh, mop down there in the bottom tank. Here is the CO2 setup. Yes, it's a big tank. I'm not traveling every fucking day, every month to get tanks filled up. Because in my area, it's not that easy. So, uh, this tank here should last me at least a good year and a half. Hopefully longer. And then I'll trade it in and get another one. The CO2 regulator seems to be holding up really good. It works well. The only problem I have is the splitter. It's junk. It came from China. And I regret buying junk splitter from China. So I have another one coming. It's a four-way splitter. And I'll be using that to the 60-gallon and then 36-gallon. So anyways, right now I'm only doing the 75 and the 30. But that splitter sucks. But anyways, you guys. Oh yeah, and I also got some fertilizer. <coughs> Expensive little bottle of fertilizer. So this is from Aquarium Co-op. As you can see, it's easy green. A lot of people out there doesn't know about the product, but I'm pretty sure if they're in the fish hobby and they watch YouTube... You've had to have heard about Aquarium, aquarium Co-op. And this is his own formulated, uh, specially put together fertilizer. It's an all-in-one fertilizer. Uh, does it say on it? So it's, it's safe for shrimp and uh, snails. But this little bottle here is a 236 mil. I paid $35 for it. And I, I didn't know it was $35 for a 236 mil. I thought it was a 500 mil. Um, when it arrived, I was like, wow, that's expensive. I could have got a bottle, a 500 uh, mil bottle of Thrive. 
for that price. But I'm going to use this for the shrimp tank. Because right now I'm having a hard time finding the bottle of Thrive for the uh, shrimp safe stuff. But I'm waiting for it to come in. All right, now I'm still using... Uh, I'm using the Flourish recommended dosage in each aquarium. That one there is using right now just the... I just started using the Easy Green. So we're going to see the difference between Easy Green and Flourish. Okay, so if you want to see that, you know, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll show you the differences. So if, it, if the Easy Green takes off and, it, and everything works good in that tank and it works out well... I will probably go with the easy green, but I will find it cheaper. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you a quick update on this. And uh, it's coming together slowly, but for sure, it's, it's going to uh, take some time. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm new to the hobby. I've learned a lot. I've read a lot. Um, I can answer what questions that I do know, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the forums or somewhere's here, uh, if that's following me now, could probably answer them. But, uh, yeah, everything seems to be working out pretty good. I really was not happy with the substrate in this tank, um, but uh, it's going to be that for a while. Eventually, I probably will be switching out the substrate in both both aquariums. That's just I can't afford right now the bags of substrate, the good stuff, because they're expensive. So, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and uh, you know, leave a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Later.